In this lecture, we are going to talk about if else statement in decision making. Now, if else statement is a two way decision making statement, unlike the simple if statement, which was a one way decision making statement. This is the syntax for if else statement. Now, as in the case of if statement, simple if statement, there is an expression available here inside the parenthesis. This is the conditional expression that will evaluate to either true or false. Okay, so whenever this evaluates to true, the true statement is executed, and there is this keyword called as else. Else is a keyword in uh, C, okay, reserved keyword in C. And if this condition or the expression is false, only then the false statement is executed. Okay, so this is how it works. First of all, the expression is evaluated, step number one. Then the output of the expression would be either true or false. Whenever the output of the expression is true, true statement is will be evaluated. And if the expression is evaluated to false, the false statement would be evaluated. Meaning the true statement and the false statement are mutually exclusive. That means either one of these would be evaluated finally based on the output of the expression. All right, this is how if else statement works. It is called two way decision making because it has two ways obviously the true statement if the expression is true and the false statement if the expression is false now instead of this true statement you can have a single statement or you can have a block or compound statement that is consisting of many statements together enclosed inside the braces as shown here okay this can be as well in the case of the false statement you can have a block inside the false statement as well Okay, now let's understand this in more details by looking at this example that is to check if the number x is even or odd. Okay, now first of all, what would be the expression? First thing that you need to think in terms of decision making statements are what would be my expression? How do I check if my number is even or odd? So first we'll write, let's say the number is x, x mode 2 equals equals 0, we'll check if the number is even, right? So I'll put this inside the if. So this would be my expression, okay? Now this will be either true or false. If it is true, it will come to the true statement, this part. So here I'll just write printf, the number is even, right? So this will be executed only if the number is even. That means if this is true, if this expression is true. Else, there's this keyword called else. And there's nothing to be written down after else, okay? There's no statement to be put like this, the parenthesis. You need not put any parenthesis after the else. So there's just this keyword else and after this you write a statement that is the false statement that is let's say printf if it is not even the number is odd very simple let's say if x is 6 what happens 6 mode 2 is 0 that is true right so this will evaluate to true if it is true it will execute the true statement and it will not execute the false statement therefore the answer is even is displayed okay now if x is 5 let's say if x is 5 5 mode 2 is equals to 0 is false because 5 mode 2 is 1 so this is false if this is false true statement is not executed that is even is not printed and odd is printed so for x equals to 5 odd would be displayed as the output okay i hope you have understood the working of if else statement let's try to understand this in more details by writing a code this is our previous example of checking if the number is positive right the problem with this program was it will only display the message if the number is positive and it does not display any message if the number is negative so to solve this we can use the if else statement right so we'll also put the else here okay this is let's say a statement two right two statement two will be executed if the condition is false and statement one is executed if the condition is true this is the syntax for if else Okay, so we have already given down the condition x greater than 0 to check if the number is positive. Now here we'll put the else part, okay, and then let's put a block here wherein we'll just display that printf the number is negative. Okay, you can add as many statements as you want in this, okay, and there's this statement hello that comes after if else. So no matter what, always this will be executed. Okay, this hello would be printed every time whether the number is positive or negative. Let's try to compile this program. Let's say the number is 5. Okay, so it's saying that number is 5. So, so 5 is greater than 0. This is true. 
So we'll go into the if part that means this entire thing would be executed. So first of all number is 5 is displayed here. Then the second printf will display that number is positive and then it will come out of if else. But this else part will not be executed. So it will come to this line number 27 and it will print hello. This is how it works. Now let's try to give one more example minus 9 as an input. So whenever I enter minus 9, so it will check the condition minus 9 is greater than 0 is false. So it will come to the else part if part will not be evaluated. Okay. So in the else part, it will go to line number 25 and it will print number is negative which is displayed here. And once this is done, I am outside of if else, I am done with if else. Then I will come to line number 27 and then print hello in the screen. So therefore, number is negative and hello is displayed whenever the negative number is supplied. Okay, I hope now you are clear on how two-way branching or two-way decision making if else works. In our next lecture, we are going to talk about else if ladder. Stay tuned.